Eileen, uh, thanks, thanks for your time and uh, thanks for coming up on my channel. That's so, really nice. Thank you for your time and for your interest in this Belgian brand, like so far away from India, of course. Thanks, thanks. Uh, so, Elena, I, I was just going through your background. You have been, uh, have been an RJ video jockey also. Mm -hmm. Then Insta influencer, that's mm -hmm. why. So, for me, it's my first time that right? I am doing a podcast for, with an Insta influencer. So after all that stuff, which is more of glam and individually you need to contribute a lot into that space. And then coming into IBS space, which I find it's very scattered, you need to make your hands very dirty to understand the business. Yeah. And then running it globally is even more tougher. So how you thought of entering into IBS space and also about your background model stuff. You mm -hmm. well, I started working for television when I was 18 years old. So I have been working for television for more than... 15 years before I started my uh, my eyewear business and at a certain moment uh, I was working for uh, MTV in Belgium as a VJ. I hosted uh, um, So You Think You Can Dance. I was in Dancing with the Stars, so a radio DJ. So I did a lot of, uh, I, I released an album, so I did a lot of different things. But at a certain moment I couldn't read the auto cue anymore when I was hosting on, on TV. So I had to start wearing eyewear because I can't stand contact lenses. And there was no young woman on television wearing eyewear like no one so I was like okay I'm gonna make it my USP I'm gonna make it my unique selling point that people look at me as oh yeah the girl with the eyewear okay. and there were so many emails coming in like so many people asking like where do you get your frames and uh, I really felt the the deep-rooted frustration that I shared with the people who were emailing me like I cannot find the frames that I like for the price point that I like um, so that's when we started to um, when I started to do think together with my business partner, Bob Heratz, who was the, um, the director at the channel where I worked for at the moment, I started to think like, why do we not start our own eyewear business then? And this is how it, how it happened. And, uh, I started to really like it because working for television, uh, is like someone like the boss from the channel who decides if you are gonna have shows or not. Um, but making your own business. That's something else. So I put all my effort in the business uh, and I really run the business together with my partner, Bob. Um, uh, as I said previously, like on a daily basis, I'm every day at the office or I do the sales. Um, I focus on the sales myself as well in the stores because we have 750 opticians selling the brand in 29 countries now. So, um, so we're growing and I try to manage all the people and I'm head of design and marketing. So it's... Um, it's quite busy, and I and I really get my hands dirty in the fields. <laughs> and uh, when did you start this? We started in 2015, so uh, eight years ago, and just we started only in Belgium. But the brand has uh, has ex expanded ever since, and uh, the goal is to scale now and to uh, create brand awareness. Uh, so thank you for this interview to create brand awareness for Odette Lunette. Um, and and it works. It worked, of course, as well in Belgium that I was working for television. That I um, had a had an audience who was uh, was following me. But then again, I have around one hundred and eighty five thousand followers on Instagram, which is not a lot if you compare it to some real influencers in India. It's like it's like the country is so small. We only have uh, eleven million people um, living in Belgium, and Belgium is divided in two parts, like the French speaking part and the and the Dutch speaking part. So if you make television if you're a tv host and you work for the dutch speaking uh, part you only reach mac yeah you only have an audience of six million people that's it and they choose of course if they want to watch the channels that you're working for so it's 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 small but um but uh, it's very loyal people people are very very loyal okay. uh, so from from where you get this kind of an inspiration of because the one which you're wearing i really love it it's really different the coloring is also different. Yeah, coloring is also different. And that double, there's a metal and then there is uh, acetate. An acetate and all that. So yeah, we, tr all we try to make very wearable frames, commercial frames, but with an edgy touch. So we, the, this fitting has to be perfect. So if you put on the frame, because it was my problem when I saw frames in the store that I liked, I was like, oh, I want to try it on. And then you try it on and it stands like this or yeah. it doesn't fit. So fitting is the first thing you need to, if you put on a frame from us, it needs to fit.
Well, I think there are a lot more brands than 200 actually in eyewear uh, and it's uh, really difficult to differentiate yourself. So for us, sizing is super important. We want to have the best fittings possible. So we work really hard on that. We have a 3D printer in our office. So every design that we make, we print first so we can see if the fitting is okay. And uh, we want to make wearable frames. Uh, so commercial frames but with a little edgy touch. So they have to be differentiating in a way of design. So this could be like maybe a normal aviator, but then we make it slightly different. And also with the coloring, we do blue on the downside and brown on the upside, which is not a common combination, but we really try to play with the colors and uh, um, the materials in the, in the designs that we make, but it needs to be wearable. That's super important for us. I think our motto is a little bit that um, someone needs to enter with a frame and not a frame entering with someone. So it needs to be an added value, but it cannot take over your look. It cannot dominate your look, but uh, it needs to match with, with both your style and your personality. So that's something that we focus on uh, on a really heavy. And uh, for us, it's like our brand is about who wears it, not about who makes it. So it, it, uh, it feels like you have been a user of a spectacle and you had bad times. That's why you are making something uh, which goes with the personality yeah. and it is user friendly. It's kind of, it goes with you. It's not like the frame stands out and the person goes somewhere else. Yeah, it's, com it's very important. It's, it's a fashion item. It's an accessory. It's jewelry on your face. It's, it's not only a medical device. The good thing is that it makes you see again, but it's like literally and figuratively your strength. Uh, something that helps you in life and you should feel confident. So when Odette really, uh, Odette Lynette really wants to give you the feeling of empowerment and fierceness and uh, it's, we want to, we want you to be happy to be part of our community, not only about the frame itself, but like the whole storytelling around it, our ambassadors. We have some really nice ambassadors, like Ben Affleck is wearing our frames, Dua Lipa. Uh, ben Affleck is married to Jennifer Lopez. So they, they're really big and Sean Penn was, mar was together with Madonna for a long time and Dua Lipa is in the new Barbie movie. So, so they're, they're really big Hollywood stars and they're uh, supporting our brand as well. Uh, they like it and uh, um, yeah, that's nice. Great, great, great. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, which countries you are already uh, working in? Well, we're working in around 29 countries, not yet in India, by the way. So, we want to change that, of course. We would love you to wear Odette Lunette as well, or you can call it Odetti. That's also nice. Uh, but we're working in New Zealand, in Australia, in oh, Malaysia, yeah, in the Macau, in uh, Italy, Spain, France, the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium. Belgium, Iceland, Canada, uh, America. Um, so we work in a lot of countries, but we are still small. So it's it's um, and young and independent. So it's not so easy to um, to make the difference when it comes to the big brands uh, who have a lot of uh, capital behind them and a big business structure. So um, yeah, we try to uh, disrupt the market a little bit by focusing a lot on marketing as well um, and trying to be a little bit rebellious, uh, not do what is expected from an eyewear label. Okay. I'm head of design and I'm also uh, choosing the designers who are part of our team, uh, therefore. And I was in the design uh, jury from the design school in Paris, um, which um, graduates the best uh, eyewear designers globally. And um, my team exists of people from those uh, from that school. So they know how to design eyewear. And I just give them inspiration about, for example, our new campaign, um, we build around classic cars. Because classic cars, they have such beautiful designs. They're, they're amazing. Like the, the lines in the cars and the materials and the, and the way they're being shaped. It's, it's amazing. So that gives me a lot of inspiration. And also the lacquer on the cars, like the way it's shiny. But now we start to see also that it's matte sometimes. So the way they play with coloring, with um, with, with with matte black, uh, that, uh, with materials, that's something that uh, that inspires me a lot for um, for eyewear. Great. Uh, great. So it was lovely talking to you, and I really find it inspiring uh, to have just about six, seven years old brand uh, run by a. 
person who doesn't come from an IVA background yeah. and still doing a business globally. So I would love you to see you soon in India also. Thank you so much. Have, That's have a, you been to India? I have not been to India. I have two cousins coming from India. They're from the region of Calcutta. And my brother uh, was on a world trip and he went for six months around uh, India. So it's uh, absolutely six, in six months in India. So I'm absolutely um, thrilled about all the stories that they're telling. And I would love, love, love to come to India. So please invite me. Invite me someone and I'll be there. Okay, sure, sure. We'll do it. Thanks. Thank uh, you. Thanks.